Hi, welcome to Making All the Plans. I'm Connie, and if we haven't met before, I'm a busy mom of two active kids, and both my husband and I have full-time careers. My goal is to share with you how I stay on top of all life throws at me in one planner so that you might be able to do the same. This week, I did just grab this Choose Happy sticker book from Happy Planner, and it does have two different color themes in it. One's a little bit lighter and one's a little bit brighter. I'm going to go with the brighter theme and save some of those pastel colors for the wintry months. I did grab this striped washi, and it's pretty light, but I thought it might go with this lighter blue or the tealy color. And I just like this washi tape, so I wanna try to use it. For writing utensils, I do have my Friction Erasable Pen in 07, and then I have some Tombow Mono Brush Pens, and I just thought they were bright and would go with the colors in the sticker book. And then I have a couple Kelly Creates fine liners in case I want to do a little heavier writing. And then I have a random pen in there. And then the rest of the highlighters in here are all friction erasable highlighters because I do like to color code. I am going to start by decorating my faith page. And there's just a small section for a prayer list and then sections for the verse of the day if I have time to do that. And there's a lot of good quotes in this sticker book, but I decided on start each day with a grateful heart to take up the majority of that blank space in the upper left-hand corner. And if you've been following along with me, I am not a huge fan of the tracker right now, so I am going to cover that up. I'm just going to try to figure out what I'm covering it up with. I'm also trying to figure out some other stickers to incorporate to make that light bluish teal striped washi tape to be able to fit on the page as well. And one of the downfalls of not using my sticker books very frequently is I don't remember where the stickers are in the sticker book. And sometimes I don't remember which stickers I've actually used out of it because it has been so long since I've used the book. So I did decide on the beauty is all around for the sticker to cover up the tracker. And then I decided that I would grab this hot pink washi tape instead of that light blue teal, just because I felt like it pulled these stickers together better than that light blue or tealy color. And I do tend to lean towards either pink or black washi tape. So I try to break away from that sometimes. But if a spread is really calling out that I should use pink, I do go ahead and grab it. And I am just using my T-square ruler here so that I can try to make the pink go straight across the page. And I know that I'm not very good at eyeballing that, so I do like to use my tools since I have them sitting right here at my desk. And I'm going to grab this hot pink little heart just to bring that little pop of hot pink into that sticker. And then I'm going to grab a few hot pink boxes from my Proud Sticker Designs collection of box stickers. So this box I'm going to use to cover up prayer list. I do white it out so that it doesn't show through the sticker. And then I'm going to use my Kelly Creates Fine Liner in 05 just to have a slightly bolder title here on my page. And moving on to the tasks page, I do like to leave this pretty minimal because when I move my post-it notes over that need to be completed for the week, they really do take up the majority of the page. So I don't really like to put a lot of decor on it. I do like to split up the top from the lists. So I will go ahead and put some washi tape in to differentiate where the headers are versus where the lists are. And then I do have three columns worth of tasks that I put in, but for my home tasks, I usually don't fill the entire column. So I feel like it's safe to decorate this bottom corner. So I will go ahead and throw a little bit of washi tape in and a couple floral stickers just to continue to bring the theme across all of the spreads but again, leaving plenty of room for the functionality. 
but the three themes for my goals are making all the plans, which is my passion project, personal, and home. I'm also going to go ahead and decorate the box on the right side of the page. And I've gotten a few good suggestions about what to put in this box. So I'm a little excited. I sometimes will put in big events that are happening throughout the week so that I don't over schedule myself. But one of the most popular ideas was to write some gratitudes in there. The one that I'm going to try this week though is to put in good things that have happened throughout the week so that I can remember them. So I'm pretty excited about that. So I do go ahead and continue that diagonal theme from the left side of the tasks page, and I'm just going to run it in each corner of this box. And then I'm going to take some box stickers and spread those across so that I have room to write some of those good things. And of course, I want to throw in a sticker or two. So I do find a sticker that says noted and it is in hot pink and I thought it would work really well in this area. So I grabbed that and a couple floral stickers just again to continue carrying the theme across all the pages. And I do decide to bring in a little bit of dark green on the page as well because I don't have the exact green that would have matched the florals. So I do just go ahead and go with this dark forest green. I feel like it's almost a neutral, but it still has a little bit of color to it, if that makes sense. I could have used black as well, but I really wanted to bring in another color here. So I'm not going to go crazy with the boxes. I'm just going to drop in four, but there's plenty of white space up there as well if I need some more space. And I'm going to think positive. I'm going to have so many good things to write. It's going to overflow and run in the margins as well. So let's grab just a couple floral stickers to drop in. I'll drop in this corner one. And then one more little one just to put next to noted. I just felt like it was off centered a little bit, which is fine, but I wanted to fill in just a little bit of that white space so it looked intentional. I did think about filling in with some scrap florals, but I just went ahead and left it after this. And on to my weekly spread. Again, it's going to be fairly minimal this week. There is a lot going on. My son does start at the career technical school. So again, I need to leave plenty of functional space, but I want to continue to carry the theme across the pages. One thing that I still need to change on this page is to move the numbers for the hours down a little bit. I did not leave enough at the top of the page so that I could either drop in a box or write something that happens like for the full day. So as you'll see here in a little bit, I have a birthday to write on Thursday and jury duty, and it does not quite fit up there in the top. So I do need to shift those numbers down. Hopefully I'll remember to do that for next week. So I am just using my Tombow in pink to draw some lines in this week. Again, I could have used black or I could make it so that it's permanent, but since I'm still playing around with the layout of the numbers for the hours, I didn't want to drop in those lines. Sometimes it's difficult to edit a PDF and I was having issues with that line. And then one of my favorite tricks of not using my functional space is to drop in the washi below the boxes of the planner. It brings in some pattern and some color, but it does not take up any functional room on the page. I am using my Live Love Posh washi tape cutter, but you could use anything here. The edge of a ruler, an old gift card. There's lots of options, so you don't have to purchase something. I just purchased this because I thought it was pretty and I do use washi tape a lot. Let's jump over to the sidebar. I like to put my meal plans in here, a list of errands, and then a little bit of decorative items. But since I had seen this sticker that says errands on it, I did want to use that. I did do quite a few errands this week, but I feel like I have to do them all over again. 
We keep ordering more jeans from Old Navy, hoping that we will find some that fit properly. And I love their return policy, so we usually start there if we can. But that just means that even though I went to Old Navy and made returns, I have to do it all over again this week. So I was just flipping through the sticker book, seeing if there were any other word stickers that I wanted to use, if there were any that said dinner or meals or anything like that. So I did come across this floral washi tape sticker that I liked how it continued the theme throughout the pages. So I did go ahead and drop it in the box that I normally decorate. Then I'm going to drop just a hot pink box blank box in the top so that I can write dinner since I did not find a sticker that said dinner in this book and I didn't want to go grab any other books. And then I just offset the errands and that other pink box. I thought I would use the pink box for an errand that is more important or that doesn't quite fit into a return. So maybe finally going and getting my husband's car or dropping off donations or possibly even having someone come here and pick up our beds. So I have a few beds that need to go to, I think they're going to go to St. Martin de Poor's Society. So we'll see where that ends up happening, but we don't have vehicles big enough to take them somewhere. So we need to have someone come get them from us. So even though I wanted to use that just to fill up the space, that was a long way of saying I will use that extra box that's down there. So I could not find my whiteout pen, so I did grab the whiteout tape runner, I guess, and white out those lines because I wanted to use this quote and I didn't necessarily want to see that line through it. And it just says, you will rise by lifting others, Robert Ingersoll. And then the last thing that I want to do over in the sidebar is put down some lines for my meal plans. I cannot write in a straight line to save my life, so I almost always put lines down. And I'm just using my Christian Design Stencil. I'm pretty sure this is the five millimeter spacing. And then I'm using this brand new Uniball Zento gel pen in seven millimeter medium tip. I did show this in my most recent haul, so if you're interested, I will drop a card to that. But I really love how dark and smooth that the Uniball Zento pen writes. Plus, it's got a slightly wider barrel and it's just comfortable to hold. And now I will write the month up here at the top and also grab my pink pen again, the Tombow, and write in the dates. So I am about 30 minutes into planning and scheduling out my week and I haven't really even gotten to any of the functional parts. So now I'm finally going to get to dropping in the actual scheduled events for my week. So one of the reasons why I did go ahead and tweak this and I'm starting to mess around with some more tweaks is because the less time I can spend laying out the week, the more time I have to spend on the functional parts of my planner, which is really what my goal is. So if I can drop in those pink lines, I will go ahead and do that. But I just want to make sure those numbers are properly aligned on the left so that my hours line up. So it is a process, but it's one that I'm willing to take because that way it's already set up for the way that I want it. And then instead of spending my time on the decorative and just setting it up for the week, I can spend the more time on the functional, if that makes sense. I am a big fan of color coding, so this peachy orange color is for work. And I might have to change colors for this because I think I have duplicates of every color except for the peach. So I'm always trying to find this one specific highlighter on my multiple desks. So I might have to switch to a different color, but for now it's this orangish peach color. But not a lot of meetings for this week. My boss is on vacation, so that makes it a little lighter in the meeting area. And I'll be able to spend time on the tasks that I've been putting on the back burner. So hopefully I'll be able to get a lot done. But just a few meetings. And I do use the friction erasable pen and highlighter because 
one meeting has already gotten canceled. So instead of having to cross that off, I will be able to go in and erase it before the week starts. Normally I lay all this out either Friday or Saturday, and then I go back in Sunday night and make any tweaks to the schedule and then also lay out at least Monday. And purple are kids schedules. Anything that I am involved in, it does cover the entire column. And anything that my kids can do on their own, like my son going to soccer practice, I just put that on the right hand side of the column for the day so that I know it's happening. I remember that it's happening, but I know that I can schedule something else of my own if I need to. So soccer season is officially in full swing. Tuesday is our last scrimmage before the season starts, but that does take up quite a bit of my time when I go see every scrimmage and every game, and he is playing for both the JV and the varsity. But I know that I'm going to blink and it will be over. He's a junior this year, so I don't want to miss anything if I can help it. It is also back to school week for my son. He starts at the career tech school on Wednesday in the mornings. And then next week, both kids start at the district school. So he does have his schedule for the career tech and his uniform and everything like that. So we're ready to go for the first day of school. But now we are also getting ready for our local school district's first day, which includes an eighth grade orientation for my daughter and then schedule pickups, which I have not put those in yet. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to drop that in without being too intrusive on my schedule because there are three different days where Ben can go and pick up his schedule and walk it. And there are two days where Kinsey can go and pick up her schedule and walk it. So I'm not quite sure how I want to drop that on the schedule. And I'm trying to figure that out while I'm doing something else. Thursday is my besties birthday and as well as possible jury duty. And this is where you can tell that I have not left enough space up at the top before the hours start for the week. So I would like just another one or two dots. And if you can't tell, there is dot grid in the daily areas. So it does help me keep things straight, which is helpful, but I don't want to have to write jury duty up in the hourly section. So I would like to drop all those hours down just a little bit. And I've also decided that instead of actually writing on my planner when schedule pickup and things will be, I'm just going to write a post-it for it. So Ben has school Wednesday through Friday, 8 to 11, and then he can go pick up his schedule and walk it Wednesday or Thursday right after school or Friday in the afternoon. He also has soccer every day this week, so he'll just have to balance when everything is. It shouldn't be a big deal, but that way I do have all the options here. But when he does decide to go, I will just write it in the schedule and I may or may not go with him depending on when he decides to go. And Kenzie's walkthrough is a little more generous. She has two days, but there's, what, six hours she can go and pick up her schedule. And somebody will have to take her, but she'll probably want to meet her friends there. And it will basically be either one of us dropping her off and picking her up. Thankfully, school is close. Or I will take her and go in and pay fees and things like that. And then the last thing I'm going to do before I'm wrapping this part of my planner up is to just write in MATP for making all the plans. And then I will also write in home. And that way I can split up my tasks uh, between the days based upon what I think is going to happen. So hopefully Monday can be a heavy day that I get home tasks and making all the plans tasks done. Because if I look at Tuesday, I am going to work that day. And my son has a soccer scrimmage, which I will be at. So there won't be a lot of spare time on Tuesday. So I just like to lay out things based upon what is going on throughout the week. And here I also decided that I did not like how I wrote my goals. So I am going to go ahead and cover those up with some box stickers and then rewrite them. 
and maybe by next week I will have all the small tweaks made to the planner pages, but we'll see. I may use it for a little while longer just to see if there are any other tweaks that I want to make. But I hope that everyone is having a great start to their August. I know a lot of kids have already gone back to school and teachers. So if that is you, I hope you're having a great start to your school year. And I hope you join me tomorrow where I actually lay out all my tasks for the week and show you how I use the planner functionally. And I hope that everybody has a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.